Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're going to be looking at battery dissolvators and I've just lined up a couple of batteries here from my previous video which I ended recording only five minutes ago only a change of batteries on the camera and now we are on to the next one um, I was doing a video on this battery analyzer and it's pretty good it gives you um, it gives you a fair amount of idea if the battery is good or bad and it's not very expensive but what do you do when the battery is bad um, normally you get a new one if it's your car and you want your car to start every morning and drive to work you get a new battery because it's not worth spending time money and effort uh, messing around with a battery except if it's just to put in some more distilled water or something like that but if the battery is being used for something else like a battery bank it's okay to use a little more energy on it because it's not it's not supposed to be uh, delivering 500 cranking amps it's just supposed to be delivering a little amount of power all the time and that's not as it's not as tough the battery is not being stressed that much when it, it if, if you try to deliver 500 amps out of a battery it's stressed a lot but if you're only using like 5 10 50 amps out of the battery um, it's not being stressed very much and it's actually also able to deliver uh, much more power over the long run than if it has to deliver 500 cranking amps just like that so um, it's worth trying to rely that battery because it can actually be used for many years to come. So to do that, <clears throat> I got a package from China. And this time it's a package that I ordered myself. And I only just checked if it was the right things in it. And there are two of them. And there are battery desulfators. And um, I was lucky. I'm just gonna cover up my address um, actually the Chinese has uh, I can't really see that that's irritating the Chinese has set the value to $20 that's the upper limit that's for sure the, the limit for what we can get through the post office here in Denmark under the minimum amount is about $15 so $20 I was lucky if it comes over that we have to pay income tax and import tax yeah <laughs> it's import tax and um, for a device like that it would almost double the the amount of money that this would cost it's that the post office they take their fair share too if they have to send me a letter that I have to pay the the import tax it's I think it's 20 bucks I have to pay for them to do that so it's not worth it to get caught in the mail system here in Denmark it's uh, too expensive a lot of the times it's a lot cheaper just to let the, the merchandise go back if there is tax on it so, but let's see what's in the box here we are let's just open the first one uh, that's not really that much let's see if the second one is just that's a little manual, that's nice. Oh. I probably had the let off because this manual should probably, there's a manual for each of them. Okay, and a piece of, they're really well wrapped. They came in bubble plastic and everything. Fantastic. So, this is the device. This device should be able to auto detect among some different voltages let's see what it says oh it has a nice picture of what it thinks dissolvation look like when the battery is dissolvated it, it makes big crystals which is not very good because uh, voltage and stuff like that it needs a big surface so with small uh, yeah this looks like a mess but in battery terms that's a good thing 
because then there's a lot it's a big surface to deliver the power of um, yeah this is fully automatic voltage selection 12 40 24 36 and 48 volts and i bought this diesel fader for my battery banks uh, which is going to be a 48 volt battery bank so that's why i bought it so, I'll go read the manual, but let's let's put some power on to this thing first to, to see what it can do. See if there's any activity at all. There's a plus and a minus, and it's really not hard to guess what what is what. So let's put it over here and put it on this one. I've in my previous video I made these notes that this battery. Um, from the from the battery analyzer over here. Maybe we should move back. I've made these notes. Can you see that? That's really the camera is not that. Yeah, the battery is was on 12.5 volts. It was able to deliver 115 amps which is not a lot for a battery that should probably be able to deliver five to 600 amps. And the internal resistance was 19.45, which is a lot. It's twice the amount that is good for starting a car. And actually also over uh, the amount of internal resistance that is used for starting a motorcycle. And I did that using this uh, analyzer the numbers are still well the, this one is almost the same but the other ones are the same and the idea was that I'll just put this out of the way that I would desulfate these batteries and see if there was any change put them on a charger and put the desulfator on them and see if these numbers would improve and I will probably just leave them over the next week. Hopefully make a, a nice discovery that everything is perfect now. Um, it's not, these takes a lot of, it takes time to desulfate a battery. If you haven't, if you don't know what a desulfator is, it's, it's like a pulsing thing. It's put on the battery and it uses the battery power to make an overcharge which it sends back into the battery so like it's like poking it with a with a voltage like a stick and the, the nice crystals will break up these nice crystals will break up into smaller pieces kind of like that that's that's how i see it it's, it's probably some nice chemistry behind it but i don't know about that so we'll Try and put this on, plus, yeah, that's the, don't want to put it on wrong, that would be stupid. Plus to plus, and minus to minus. And it shows the battery voltage, can you see that, you can? 12.6 volts it says, and it says C12. And that's where I need to go read the manual. I can hear it pulsing now. Yeah, it's it's definitely saying some some noises. I don't know. Maybe it's it's probably not able. The camera is probably not able to pick it up. And then it will measure the voltage again. No. Okay, I'll go read the manual. So, I've been up reading the manual and this thing is still pulsating. Uh, I would have liked it to show the battery voltage, but it doesn't. But the manual says that this is an... it has special features. It has an... an let's go see the special features. Benefits, let's call them that. They call them that, so let's also call them that. Increases battery power. Well, yeah. Extends battery life. Battery charges faster. Longer decharge. 
means you can get more power out of them. Prevents sulfate buildup. Yes, and reduces evapolarity. Evapolarity. I don't know what that one is. I guess I jumped over that. But okay, fully automatic voltage selection: 12, 24, 36, 48. New cycle pulse generation method for improving capacity re recovery. Soft peak pulsing. Auto cutoff function to prevent over discharge of battery. User configuration override for manual voltage selection. And the, the selection of the voltage is over here. So you can select 12 volt batteries or 24 volt batteries or 36 volt batteries or 48 volt batteries. And the unit will cut off at these voltages to protect the battery bank so that the batteries are not discharged below that amount which is pretty cool so i can leave this on during the during the weekdays and it will cut off when the battery reaches 11 volts let's just let's check what it is i have the multimeter just over here it actually says 12.71 Let's see when the pulsing stops. It doesn't move any. I'll just try and see if I can see any frequency. Hertz when it's pulsing. No, I'm not able to, to measure the frequency with this multimeter. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put I'm gonna leave this one on here and we're gonna take the other one and put it over on this one. and it has selected the setting C12 as well and C12 is the 12 volt battery thing maybe you can hear them now this one is louder than the other one probably works better then if loud is good and the battery voltage on that one is 12.4 the manual tells about some other things that this device is doing. It has the auto select and it has a working amperage of maximum 20 milliamperes. And that's not a lot for a, for something on a car battery. Car batteries are used to way bigger amperage than that. And it has a peak peak amps of 2 amps. I don't know when it sh should be using when it is supposed to be using two amps but apparently it has been seen or maybe it's an internal fuse or something like that I have no idea and the voltage that it sends back into the battery is somewhere between 60 and 100 volts and it does this as a, at a frequency at about 10 kilohertz and it has an LED that indicates and yeah that we can see that and it has a cut off amperage of 5 milliamps so that's probably the the amps that it needs to operate at all and it has some size and a weight 120 grams that's that's nice more or less i think i'm just gonna leave these on i don't know if we can if we can take one of these apart I don't want to break it, so we're going to put that back in. I rather want to see this work on this battery for a week and then see if there is any different next weekend. So I'm going to put that back on there. Good connection to the plus lead, the positive lead, and equally good connection to the negative lead. 12.5 volts I think I think we'll put them over there at the charging station
This looks rather nice. I'll just keep them there for a week and see if the batteries um, become any better. And next weekend I'll just put on the battery analyzer again and see if they've improved any. I might have to charge them a little bit first to charge them up to full charge, but I, that's doable. I have a couple of homemade uh, battery diesel feeders that my cousin has made and I've been using those and there's no reason not to try them out on the other two batteries. I can get anything out of that. So I'm gonna hook those up as well. Okay, I moved the two batteries over here. So th these devices, they use a fair amount of more power than the other devices. Nice tool. I found something out. Found out something new. Uh, you can press the button, and it shows the voltage. I didn't try that, and it will show the voltage for some time, and it will start pulsating again. I don't know why I didn't try that. I, I did try just pushing it shortly, and that didn't really do anything when it was pulsing. But I guess. I could probably also press the button and try to select the battery. Let's see. C12. C24. C26. C28. And C12. I don't know what happens if I select one of the higher rank ranks. Uh, it might not be working as well. But so that was the new battery diesel features, and this is the two old battery diesel features and the new battery analyzer, which is pretty cool. And these are pretty cool as well. Now it's just just needs to know if they really work. Don't know yet. I have been seeing YouTube videos with these in, but there's nothing conclusive on that, I think. But yeah, thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.